What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's time to get extreme. Not just extreme, but Mick extreme. And we're going worldwide. That's right, Daddy. It's time to check out something from the brand new worldwide menu selections at McDonald's. And like I said, I'm going extreme, Mick extreme, and I'm going grand. You are looking live at McDonald's. On Frederick Road, well, really kind of on Henderson Corner Road, but just above Frederick Road uh, in Germantown, Maryland, right next to what I think used to be a bank of some sort that is being reconstructed or converted into another business. And you've got Capital One over here, and there's a, a Exxon behind us that actually charges you more to use the Exxon credit card than it does to use any other uh, method of payment. Very strange. And a beer and wine store, of course, right next to it because, of course, it is Maryland. I have come to McDonald's to taste a little bit of taste of Spain. Let's see what I'm talking about. McDonald's right now has a worldwide favorites program going on, and they've brought four menu items from around the globe here to the United States, things that we've never had before here in this country, so to speak, even though the one that represents Australia was the cheesy bacon fries, which we did already have earlier this year, and maybe even last year. I don't remember. It's been a very quick year. And uh, also... Uh, a Stroop Waffle McFlurry. That sounds actually pretty darn tasty. And also including this one, which is not a quarter pounder with cheese. It's kind of like a quarter pounder with cheese, but they're calling this the McStream Bacon Burger. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. There you go. It's on a sesame seed bun like you can see here. And... Hmm. Doesn't look too much different from most McDonald's burgers, except for you see that there's a different coloring to the cheese. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out of here. Get a better view. There you go. All right. You got a big beef patty in there. Quarter pound. You've got Gouda cheese. Pull off that crown for you. There you go. You got two strips of Applewood smoked bacon. And this orange concoction that's on top of here is known as McBacon sauce. That's very, very interesting. Of course, by default, it comes with the uh, raw slivered onions. I can't stand that on a burger, so I'm not gonna put myself through that, not even for a review. All right, guys, I'll be right back right after this to check out the McGrand Extreme Burger or whatever the heck they're calling this thing on this edition of OTR. All right, gang, back here on OTR to check out the Grand, Mick Grand Mick Extreme Bacon Burger. I think that's exactly how you say it now. And there you go, showing it to you next to my noggin the way I always do. Just looks like about the st standard size and scope of most McDonald's quarter pound type burgers. But you do have the sesame seeds on there. That's a nice touch, kind of like a Big Mac. Has a nice smell to it, a bacony, cheesy smell. Now, one thing I gotta say is I don't really like um, bacon flavored things so much. So I hope this is a bake. This this McBacon sauce has actual like bacon in it, and it's not just bacon flavored sauce with the fake bacon flavoring because that's gonna be gross. But otherwise, I'm kind of excited about this. Anytime you can get a new burger at McDonald's, that's pretty exciting. Oh my, oh my, wow. If I had known this thing existed, I would have gone to Spain a long time ago, guys. Wow, I love this burger. Um, ow, freaking standing, guys. Why didn't you bring this into my life earlier? I don't know what it is, but ever since they've changed the way they do their quarter pound beef patties, uh, I have really been in love with the McDonald's burger itself. You know, the taste of it. It tastes so good. It's nice and juicy and fresh. It's so nice. But this thing, that's the first thing you notice. But then you notice this wonderful sauce. This sauce that's not necessarily overtly bacon flavored. It's got more of a creamy, peppery thing going on. 
that is then kind of accented with a bacon flavor. And it's almost like they just put some bacon juice in there, like uh, actual grease from ba from the bacon in order to create that flavor. And then you've got the actual bacon itself, which might be the weakness of this burger, if there is one, because it's not the best, uh, most well-cooked bacon, I guess you would say, in terms of its texture, consistency, and so forth. It's rather flat and flaccid. Uh, not real crunchy or anything like that. So that gets to be a little bit annoying when you're trying to chew through it while you've been already chewing through this burger that's melting in your mouth and you get to this part where you gotta kinda rah, 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 and chew on it for a second to get through it. But it does add more genuine bacon flavor at that point and that's really good too. Um, the Gouda cheese, man oh man. Uh, what can I say about that? Slightly sweet, slightly buttery, definitely creamy. Uh, really uh, envelopes the burger so well, and adds to that when the juices of the meat when the you know it mingles in between with the cheese. Oh wow, what a great flavor that is! And I really like that a lot. And it seemed the cheese seemed to pair very well with that sauce too, uh, with the uh, sort of peppery, bacony. Uh, you know, creamy kind of thing going on. It added the, to the creaminess of the cheese as well. It was really nice. I like it a lot. The bun is a standard bun. It's nothing to write home about, but it's pretty darn good. And you get a good sesame flavor with a couple little dots of sesame texture as well, you know, in terms of crunching down on something a little extra. And that's always, you know, a fun thing to do. I th think it's better than, like, the uh, shiny bun uh concept that everybody's been using that are like fake brioche buns i think this is better than that so it's pretty darn tasty i'm gonna go ahead and give this thing man if i knew the price because <laughs> i don't know the price it's weird i got the combo and i figured it would have the it, they didn't have it on the menu in here they didn't have it at the kiosk they didn't have it you know anywhere up there printed as to what the price of this darn thing was and i tried to ask them after I got the combo how much is it just the sandwich but I was pretty much talking to a brick wall and they said you got combo and that was about it so yeah um man uh because the price does factor into the total review score for sure uh let's just say it's $5.99 and then the rest of the lot with the fries and the drink were uh, you know, the rest of the, the 9.39. So, you know, uh, making that less than four bucks there. So yeah, let's say it's 5.99. If it's 5.99, I would definitely give this thing a 100% full thumbs up. And if it's cheaper than that, then I definitely would as well. I don't think it's more, any more than 5.99 though, guys. And, uh, that is, um, you know, my strong belief. Anyway, I'm giving it a full thumbs up. I'm babbling as usual because I love you guys and I love to talk to you guys and I love to talk to everybody. That's why I like to keep on talking right after OTR with OTR the Extra Mile. I have no idea what I'm going to be talking about this week, fellas. Lots of tumultuous things going on in one's life as usual. Never know what's going to happen from one day to the next. And uh, you can find out more about that by clicking on the Patreon link in the description down below. Support the SAS Snack Society on Patreon and get exclusive content every month. Also, ladies and gentlemen, join the Facebook group where it all started. There's a link into the same description down below that'll get you to the Facebook group. That's free, F R double e free and you can interact with some of the coolest people in the whole world and i'm not just talking about me and he'll he'll will mahoney and tony and people like that i'm talking about all the snacker stars all like 1000 of them so get on that join that bandwagon and be one of us also make sure you follow me on twitter and instagram i'm at brandon reich sas when you do make sure you use the handy hashtag snack society all day every day that way you know what we're eating and we will know what you're eating too so make sure you like comment share subscribe in the meantime ring uh ring that bell to be notified in the meantime in between time we'll see you next time Bye bye